so now on to the planning portion of the project. So I've been wanting to dip dye a lampshade for a long time because I did it on a whim to one of my lampshades and it looks so gorgeous. Looks like you bought it in a store, but I didn't, I just made it myself. So I'm not sure if that's gonna work with this because I'm not sure what this lampshade is made out of. So let's open it up and see, is this an organic material or synthetic? Because that's gonna really affect how it holds the dye. Is it worth the risk? I think it is. So I think we're gonna risk this one, guys. I also would like to, okay, so once it's dip dyed, I then want to, there's this cute little like pulley thing here and I'm going to hand make a little pom-pom and attach the pom-pom to the pulley for a little, you know, texture, a little visual effect, and hey, it makes it easy to then grab the pulley. So it's form and function. Will it be beautiful? Will it be a disaster? You will only find out here on HETV Handmade. Okay, so welcome to my bathroom and shower. We're in here because Dyeing can be a messy job. It also can be kind of complicated and I am certainly not a dyeing expert at this point. So the thing that's important to remember with dyeing is to always, whatever dye you have, read the instructions really, really well. A lot of times there's a website where they give you a lot of detailed instructions and they tell you if there's something else you need to accomplish your dyeing. So I'm gonna go with something really simple today that I can just put in a bucket and I can, I can just dip dye because otherwise it's like an hour long video. A very crucial tip for dyeing is you must have gloves on hand. I have completely sacrificed my hands for like weeks at a time. They were blue for several weeks because I didn't have gloves, so wear gloves. Make sure that whatever you're gonna put the dye in is clean and shake your dye really, really well. And then I'm gonna pour it in the bottom of our bucket. For a watercolor look, it says that you can water it down. And since I need like a ton more, that's what I'm gonna do. Now we're at the moment of truth where I'm actually gonna put my lampshade in the dye and we are gonna see what happens. So hopefully it looks beautiful, but we're not sure. Gloved fingers crossed. So I can see that it's, it's starting to kind of creep up the side of the lampshade. So I think it's gonna look really cool. And once I pull it out, I'm gonna be using my gloves so as not to ruin my hands. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on some paper towels in the bathtub. Look how cool it's already starting to look. It's weird on the seam. Clearly there's like double of the fabric on the seam. So it's doing this weird little angle thing, but that's cool, whatever it needs to do, my friend. Okay, so we're ready for the very last step of the dip dye process, and that is taking this here pre-dipped and dyed lampshade and flipping it over, and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So, let's go. So now the lampshade has been dipped on both ends, it's resting on the paper towels, and while that dries there, we're gonna go ahead and make a pom-pom for the lamp pulley. Let's go. I have already a bunch of pre-made pom-poms from a previous project, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make one using a pom-pom maker because who are we kidding? Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's go. Open one side of your pom-pom maker and wrap it with yarn until it's full but still closable. Close it and cut off the excess yarn. Repeat on the other side. Add yarn in other colors if you want as well. Even just a little splash of another color looks really cool. Holding your pom-pom maker closed, cut along the little reservoir with sharp scissors. Then add a piece of yarn inside the reservoir and tie it super tightly. Pop open your pom-pom maker and trim until you have a perfect pom-pom. And look how cute that is. You can add this little embellishment detail to any lamp pulley. Maybe you just have a simple ceiling fan in the middle of your room and you wanna jazz it up with a pom-pom. Bohemian flair. All right. I've made my whole project. The lampshade is drying, the pom-pom is attached, and now you just need to wait and see what it looks like when it's finished. I hope you like it. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba